Well, Anderson High School was, was where I got my start. I mean, that's where, that's where it all began. That's uh, what, you know, you always talk about where you, uh, uh, um, a defining moment in your life. Well, Anderson High School was a defining moment in my life. Yeah, well, I played football and, you know, I wasn't a real outstanding player because we had just, when I got over there, we just won the state. And uh, um, in 1957 is when I got there, and they had, just, they had just won the state in 1956, and then they won the state again in 1957. In 1958, we went to by district. In 1959, we went to the uh, state finals, uh, uh, the playoffs. Uh, and uh, we, we lost that. But uh, at Anderson, it was kind of unusual, too, because you never got to play until you became a senior. So, uh, I, uh, I got to start as a senior at center. I always thought I was a great halfback, but the coach thought I was a center, so I, so I started playing center. So. But we, we, we had a tremendous year that year. I think we lost, maybe lost a couple of games. And we beat our rival from San Antonio 44 to nothing. I think that was a highlight of my football career because we beat our rival in San Antonio Wheatley 44 to nothing. And my cousins all went to Wheatley. So that was a great, that was a great game. That was a great experience for us. Stadium Pack, Dale Royal was there. Uh, all the college coaches were there and they were all sitting on the hill. And you know, it, it was, the stadium was packed and the streets were packed. And boy, it was just a great, just a, just a great experience that people don't realize that we experienced, although we were, you know, we were segregated, but we, we still had the same thing they had at Austin High, you know, it, it was quite a school. And, but had, some of my classmates went to Austin High and some of them went to Travis at that particular time. So, but that, uh, and, and I started at center and uh, probably would have been a better linebacker, but, you know, we snapped, we snapped the ball from the, the single wing in the center. It was a very, very important person, so they would not going to put me on defense. And you know, break my hands or hurt my hands. So, so that was that. That was that was something else for me. You know, you always had your favorite teachers over there, and I think my favorite teacher was Mr. Morris J. Crawford. He was an ag teacher. Uh, uh, the teacher I dread going to was Miss Frazier, Mrs. <laughs> but I, I would dread going to her. But I went to her anyhow, and made a B. I thought that was unusual, <laughs> but. Uh, the teachers were very, very caring at that particular time. There was no such thing as misbehaving in class. <laughs> Nobody got put out of class because they were misbehaving. Uh, and uh, there was all, the teachers seemed to be interested in you learning. You know, with no sleeping in class, there was no bad behavior. You went to class, you did your homework. And the thing that made it so good about us being able to really excel in school is that especially with us, the football players, we had the first period with study hall. So if you didn't have your homework, you could, everybody was in study hall, we'd have our homework to go to the rest of the classes. So that, that's what made it unique. I think the study hall periods that we had and uh, uh, all the classes were, were, uh, were, the atmosphere was one of learning. You know, you were gonna, if they taught something, you were gonna learn it. If you didn't learn it, you'd kept quiet and, Pretend that you learned it. So uh, that's that's the thing I understand. And it, it seemed like a caring uh, atmosphere too. You know, leaving. You know, if you weren't at school, somebody wanted to know where you were, and uh, there was no such thing as uh, getting in trouble and getting put out of class. I was our, our principals. <laughs> our principals were some some tough hombres. They were all ex-coaches. So uh, we didn't have that kind of problem. Nobody in the hallways. Uh, kids did get to be hall monitors. You know, we got to be hall monitors. Anybody wasn't in the hall, they had to have a pass. It was just, it was a very, very controlled situation, controlled atmosphere. And uh, in fact, my class, there is a, a discussion that my class was probably one of the most successful ones that came out of Anderson High School. Because, you know, we have doctors, lawyers, teachers. You know, all our kids, all of them, they are uh, fairly successful, you know, making a good living. Those that did not 
those that did not go to school went to the went to the military. So we we were the toughest team in the state uh, as far as football is concerned, and the band. Our band was tremendous. You know, I think the band won more than the football team. So people would either know us from Anderson High School as being very successful in football and very successful in music. And, uh, you know, we just, that's, that's how I would describe, I would describe Anderson the same way I describe Reagan High School now. You know, everybody knows about Reagan, everybody knows about Anderson, so that's the way it was in the state. And, uh, and uh, you, you'd have to go through uh, uh, telling people where, you know, people say, well, where was it? Well, it was here, and it was here, and it was there. So that's where it was, you know, it was where Keeling is now, and then it was out there where it is, where it is right now, so. And it was somewhere else before that, but I don't know where it was. I think my mother went to that one. The school was the community, you know, on Friday nights, if everybody wasn't at Yellow Jacket Stadium to see the football game, they either, they either were sick, dead, or something. It was something wrong with them for not to be there. Everybody was there at the stadium. We had tremendous uh, community uh, involvement at that particular time. And, and the thing about it is the football team was, you know, you win three state championships. In 1955, they lost on penetration to Port Arthur Lincoln at Port Arthur. In 1960, I mean 1956, they won the state. In 1957, they beat Port Arthur 0-0 on penetration and went on to win the state. So, you know, all the communities, that, that was the community. Everybody was there. Uh, uh, everybody was at the stadium. Uh, being a football player was, you know, you, you were considered as special, but you weren't, uh, you, it didn't exempt you from doing what you're supposed to do. Because you were a football player, that means you broke all the rules. You went to school like everybody else. You followed the rules like everybody else. And you did what you were supposed to do. And it was really an honor to be on the football team. But people don't seem to realize, I think you, you a little younger, but what happened is every day when we got ready to play a football game, every, the players were instructed to take their helmets home, shine them, uh, take the shoes home and shine them, uh, wash, your so wash your strings. They had to be white. Everybody had white socks. Uh, you know, it was a lot of pride just being on the football team because we were so successful. And we were successful on up to about 60. I'd say after they won the state, about 60, 62 was probably one of their best, one of their better teams before they started falling on hard times. And, and the reason for that is that uh, the kids start going to other schools. You know, like you went to Austin High. You know, the other kids start going to other schools. So. That, that really, uh, that really uh, cut into Anderson's traditions at that particular time. And uh, that's why Reagan got to be so good, because the folks that, went to, folks that were going to Reagan should have been going to Anderson. So, you know, Howard Shaw, the Shaw, Shaw and Easley, they, they should have gone to Reagan. Wayman Clark should have gone to, no, should have gone to Anderson. Wayman Clark should have gone to Anderson. So, but they went to Reagan and Austin High and places like that, so that's, that, um, excuse me, that caused our demise, you know, we just didn't make it after that. Just, just didn't have the people, but when I was there, Anderson was, was tops.